you won't just go once. They will lure you back with great food, great skiing, and a sense of family. Our next guests may love the great outdoors more than anyone I know, but they also love family. Maple Log Cross Country Ski Resort in Callaway, Minnesota is a combination of all of that, which I mentioned. I'm joined by the owners of Maple Log, Jay and Janelle Richards. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Absolutely. So let's start, first of all, this is, this is history. You mm -hmm. are second generation mm -hmm. owners. So it goes back to 1970? 1970 1973. Mm -hmm. So how did it start? So my parents, Jim and Mary, moved there in 1973, and there was nothing at the current location. Uh -huh. And uh, they had the idea to start maple syruping, so they built a sugar shack, moved in some old immigrant log cabins, and uh, it just kind of took off from there. It did. Yes. And, and, and I mean, it was beautiful then. I do remember attending your wedding out there at the original lodge, um, so that was a few years back. Yeah. But then, tragically, a fire mm -hmm. took it all down, just the lodge. Right. And since then, you've rebuilt. Mm -hmm. And how long have you two been owners? So we have been there since uh, 97, mm -hmm. and then have progressed to ownership um, okay. the last 10 years. The last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And so... Primarily, this is a cross-country ski resort, and so people can come and do day skiing. They mm -hmm. can book week-long trips. How does that all work? So our main focus is overnight lodging with the ski, skiing and, and uh, everything else that's included. And, uh, yeah, so we do also snowshoeing, fat biking, and... Uh, ice skating as well. I was going to mm -hmm. say, we've got a lake out there, so that's mm -hmm. beautiful. I think the pictures are kind of showing a lot of the scenery, of course, around your property. How many acres is it? So there's 650 acres and about 90 kilometers of trails. That includes the cross-country skiing, the fat biking, and snowshoeing. Yes, and of course, we have to mention that not only is there skiing, but that's what we're preparing for this mm -hmm. season, so praying for snow, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> but there's also... Um, trails, you know, that you can take for mountain biking right. so and we hiking. Do, right, so we do that in the shoulder seasons and uh, have the mountain biking and, and hiking and, uh, yeah. Okay. So, Janelle, what do your guests experience when they walk in the, well, first of all, when they drive up the driveway? Well, the driveway is beautiful. It is. Coming <laughs> in, um, and no matter what the season, it's very pretty. Um, and they will experience community. They have um, family style meals that are prepared for them there and um, just peace and quiet and get away from their everyday life. It is peace and quiet mm -hmm. and there is a huge library. How did the library start? I know this was probably not something I mentioned to you that I was going to ask but the library, I mean there's so many books up there. Mm -hmm. So people can get away anywhere they want to really. Right. Yep, huge Crazy. National Geographic collection, which has been donated by many people. So that's, okay, yep. I know. I'm sure there, there's just tons of different varieties of books too. Mm -hmm. So um, over the course of the years, you have done so much more with uh, Maple Log. First of all, oh, we do have to mention you've got Concordia Language Villages in the summer too, mm -hmm. correct? Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. And how does that? How did that? How long have they been there? Um, so they've been there about 40 years, okay. and that was kind of a big stepping point to. Maple Log expanding when they approached us about mm -hmm. having a site for their program. Mm -hmm. So we built a bigger lodge and accommodated them for the summer. Yeah, so this new lodge, by the way, is so amazing and much bigger than the old lodge. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of seeing a little bit of this. This, um, I think this is for a wedding that was just, that flashed up there, but um, it is a huge space for conferences, people book conferences or businesses do as well? Mm -hmm. So we do conferences, retreats, um, quilting, scrapbooking, all types of events. Mary Kay. Mary Kay. <laughs> yeah. Those are just a few yeah. of the you know people that mention that, oh yeah, I've been to Maple Log for this conference or that conference. Mm -hmm. So And you host cross-country ski teams. Yep. We have a great relationship with Moorhead. Tom Dewar's done a fantastic job building that program, and okay. um, yeah, so we have ski camps with ski teams from all over Minnesota. And I, I do have to mention, I mean, when we've been there, other than the fact that, you know, we've known you for so many years, but it is family. I mean, I, I recognize people walking around, sometimes many of the people are repeat customers of mm -hmm. yours that come back year after year after year. 
but it is really just comfortable and people walk in the doors and they just, I think they feel at home whether they've been there before or not. Mm -hmm. So that is what's I think magnificent and you two do a fantastic job of making everybody feel that way. What like made you decide to do weddings? Janelle? <laughs> um, well, it, we didn't do weddings before the fire. Um, so then I think it was after the fire we were approached to do a wedding. Um, and I think it just kind of took off from there. Yeah. I think Mary and Jim did a couple weddings, but it wasn't... Um, the scale like it is today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. And we get the best brides and grooms. Yes, I'm sure. just say that. I'm sure you do. The ones who pick it, pick it for the right reasons, and yeah. And they, they come the for. They're coming. There's outdoor, indoor. They can choose from, and they they're staying the weekend. It's an right. experience. Yes. It is quite the experience. Yep. So there's so so much. Anything, um, you know, as far as COVID, this past year, two almost two years, it seems like anyway. But how has it affected your business, and and what have you had to do to make changes? So, so when COVID really hit, that was the end of our ski season. Mm -hmm. And then that summer, we did not do the language villages. And then the fall, we lost that. But then winter, we were about 50% and been building off of that. And okay. we've had to cut back on some activities, but we're really focusing on the outside and right. doing outside fires and anything we can do to get people outside more. And Yeah. yeah. And, it, and I mean, why not? And the temperatures are mild, so yeah. getting outside and being active is awesome. And Jay, you do a great job of the grooming. Of course, you're on those mm -hmm. trails day in and day out and probably never <laughs> sleep. And Janelle takes care of everything inside, too, <laughs> well, along with your team. You've got a yes, great team out great there, staff. too. So mm -hmm. yep. check out, what, what's the website, Jay? Mapelog.com. Easy breezy. Mm -hmm. Mapelog.com. There it is right up on our screen. Thank you so much for coming in, and have a great season. Thank you so much, Thank Heidi. You. you bet. Coming up on today's show, a Fargo family out of homelessness and into a newly furnished apartment. Thanks to volunteers and a great community partnership.